Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 4th. We're just going to jump right in here, as always, and see what is going on for you. You have this uh, card that says luck is on your side and this other card that says step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, if you're thinking about doing something, I would just do it because luck is on your side. You know, you could it could be outside your comfort zone or something you've never done before. And we're going to figure out what it is, by the way, in just a minute. But, um, you know, I would do it. Could be love. Like you could be uh, clear on uh, like a person that you're interested in. And, and by clear, I mean, you just see with the Queen of Swords that you are interested in a person, obviously. And so this could mean like flirting with that person or, you know, communicating with them in some way. And, you know, again, if that's for you, I would definitely step outside your comfort zone and do it. I do feel, it is kind of funny because I, I do feel like you are flirting with something, you know, but not, you know, again, it does not have to be a person. You could be flirting with the idea of doing something in your life. And, um, you know, it could be some sort of risk. Whatever it is, I feel it's going to change your life. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is something that changes our life. It changes our fortunes. But, you know, I like to remind people that the Wheel of Fortune is your personal vision for your life. And it's how it's basically how you see your life or how you see your destiny, whatever that means for you. So, again, your it kind of says that your destiny is changing, but... Um, we're we're not using the word destiny here in a like clickbaity way. We're we're talking about um, your destiny, how you see it, like how you see your life going. And I kind of feel like that's what this reading is talking about. You have the Queen of Swords again. You see something clearly. She has clouds only halfway up her body there, and so she sees things clearly for the first time. You have the Knight of Pentacles, which is like hesitation. I do feel like some of you are hesitating to make a move, but the Knight of Pentacles, everything about him says that he has everything he needs to be very successful. He has these oak leaves on his helmet, which represent knowledge and wisdom. He has his pentacle, and he has these empty fields behind him. If you were to just plant seeds in those empty fields behind him, they would grow. So it's time for you to, you know, plant some seeds or make something grow in your life. If you do that, I feel that there will be a lot of success for you, a lot of growth, a lot of abundance, but this requires like some sort of move or stepping outside of a comfort zone. Uh, for it, Again, for a lot of you, definitely could be a love connection. It's We do have lovers here, but we actually don't have a lot of love in the reading yet. You know, that could change when we clarify. You do have the four of wands, but, you know, again, for some of you, this could say, that you are flirting with an idea. Like I said just a minute ago, it says that you're at a crossroads and you have a decision to make. Uh, I always think of the lovers kind of encouraging the new choice or the new path. So if you are trying to choose between, you know, a new opportunity and old opportunity, I, I always think that, you know, picking the new thing is probably the best option with the lovers. So there could be a new opportunity coming in for you at a crossroads. You have to make a decision. And uh, I would pick the new path. Again, luck is on your side. You have that luck is on your side card. So let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Five of Cups. You've been disappointed before. So again, I think maybe one of the things that could be holding you back right now is past disappointments. The Five of Cups says you need to turn around and see these two cups, because then you get this bridge and this castle. As I always say, you don't just get the two cups with the five of cups. The five of cups is about gratitude, but it's really about letting go of an opportunity that you no longer enjoy. He has lost his taste for wine. The whole point of the card says that he's grieving the loss of something that he doesn't even enjoy any longer. So for a lot of you, I would let go of something from the past or past regrets, because you're about to have something really great. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the moon. Again, you're just not, you just can't see the future, basically. The moon, you know, can represent fears, fantasies, illusions. But, you know, to me, the moon is part of the fool's journey. He has to walk down this path and get to these mountains here. And mountains in the tarot can represent achievements. They do represent obstacles. But, you know, when you climb the mountain, where do you get the best views? At the top of a mountain. So they really represent an achievement. But really, I feel the moon is saying that obviously you can't see the future and you're just not sure how something is going to turn out. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is saying, well, just plant the seeds and find out, you know, fi find out like how things are going to turn out or fi fi see, just see how something could change your life, whatever this opportunity is. With the lovers, you have the Nine of Wands. You have the Nine of Wands twice right here. So this could say that you need to open up to love if, if that's what this is talking about. Um, you know, so again, if you want love, I feel maybe you need to be more open. There's no doubt about it. You could have been hurt in the past, but 
you know, this could say that it's time to uh, make yourself available. Uh, for others, you know, again, if you are trying, I do get the feeling that some of you are about to do something that you've tried before that didn't work. Like maybe you tried to have a business before and it failed, or you tried to get a job somewhere and it failed. I also feel that some of you could be applying to the same job again. And by the way, if you're doing that, <laughs> I, if you are like a person who's applying to a job again, then I see it being very um, successful for you, or, you know, this looks like a positive outcome to me. Uh, you have the lamb and the octopus. The lamb is about spring energy. We're entering into the spring. So it's a kind of like about a fresh new start, fresh new, be an abundant new beginning. And the octopus is about exploring your boundaries. You know, the octopus, they kind of reach their tentacles into crevices and, you know, they, they don't know what's in there. So it's about, again, leaving a comfort zone. And the card literally in this deck, the octopus is about leaving a comfort zone and um, kind of pushing the limits or, you know, going to that point where you would normally give up on something and pushing just a little bit further. And I kind of feel like that's what the octopus is talking about. And you have the four wands, the wheel of fortune and the four cups. The four wands, card of freedom. Four of Wands is a card of setting yourself free as well. So the Four of Wands, of course, can represent marriage. There definitely could be a person coming in for some of you uh, that you could marry. It could be an Earth sign. Uh, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo. Uh, it could be any sign. General reading. You have Pisces here, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Leo. <laughs> I already said. I think I already said Leo. So it could be any sign, right? You, you could be dating an octopus. You know, who the hell cares, right? Just find a good person. And that's all that matters. But, you know, this could be marriage. Uh, I also feel, but for the most part, I really feel that this is freedom. The Four of Wands is a card of freedom. I believe that we're in a time of freedom where we have to set ourselves free or we have to have the freedom uh, to express ourselves in some way or, you know, have our business or do whatever you want to do in life. And so I feel there is freedom coming in for you or you're setting yourself free. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You really get a sense of control here, like in a good way. We want to control the Wheel of Fortune. Most people, they live their lives and the wheel is just spinning all over the place, you know, forwards, backwards, whatever. And they're not really controlling it. And so life is controlling them. They are not, you know, control. They are not like living their life. They're not controlling their life. So with the wheel of fortune, the simplest thing we can do is when something good happens, we can double down on it. We can double down on the good stuff. When something bad happens, like a challenge appears, we take care of it right away. Most people run away from their challenges or, you know, it's like, I'm sure you've all not paid a bill on time or you've, you've uh, hidden a bill before or, you know, whatever the case may be, right? So when we do that, those issues become bigger. They e Even other inter issues in life have interest. And so it doesn't matter what it is. And when we take care of the bad stuff right away, then we get it out of the way. And when we double down on the good stuff, we end up having more good stuff than bad stuff. And that's how we can take control of our destiny uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. You have the four cups here. Again, I feel like you've been trying to manifest something or you've been trying to have something as well. I feel like saying worth the wait, which is weird. I don't normally feel that way on the four cups, but it's almost as if you've been waiting for something for a very long period of time, or it's almost like you've done the right things you know, I, I don't know how to say what I want to say here, Cancer, if I'm being honest with you. It, it's almost like what's popping into my head is that you feel like you've done the right things to deserve something in your life, which I think is probably true. Like maybe you've been a really good person. Maybe you're, um, you know, maybe you've uh, made yourself the best version of yourself for so you can find the love of your life or whatever the case may be. It's like you have done the right things to have something, but it's like you're saying to yourself, that you don't have it, you know, you don't have that thing. I don't even know how this is possible, by the way. You have the four cups twice in this deck, so obviously somehow another four cups cut into this deck. That's gonna be a pain in the ass for me to figure out what deck that four cups goes into, but uh, how crazy, I, I do not think that's an accident right there, but that's very interesting, Cancer. I, I've, I think I've had that happen like one other time. Uh, so again, you basically have the four cups twice, and, you know, I feel like there have been disappointments, but I'm hearing like that it is worth the wait. It's like you're about to get something that you've been waiting for, with the four cups, you have the lovers. There you go. So definitely could be love coming in for you. If there is love coming in, I feel it could be, uh, you know, a soulmate. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Magician. You have a lot of repeating cards. As always, you always get these repeating cards now that I think about it. So the Magician is pointing over to the Magician. I feel that like you have manifested or you are manifesting something into your reality, like a new beginning or a new direction or, you know, something like that. With the four cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. It forms a tree of life. 
And I, I feel a lot of people right now are kind of very focused on having a Ten of Pentacles, uh, mostly because the Ten of Pentacles, number one, can provide uh, freedom, right? When we are financially free, then we feel more free. Uh, a Ten of Pentacles can also provide like family, love, um, you know, pretty much all those other things that you desire, but it's also like long-term security. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be attracting long-term security in your life with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you have the acceptance card and the truth card. So I feel for, this is coming up in the area of what you need to, of, of what's coming towards you. And there definitely could be a truth coming out because you have the Ace of Swords here as well. So you could be accepting the truth of a, a matter or the truth of a situation. I kind of feel like this is something that's taken a long time. Like maybe it's taken you a while to get over a breakup or a separation or, you know, something that you've been experiencing. And, you know, I, it's like you're finally accepting the truth, which is probably setting you free as well. Also probably is bringing in uh, the, the right situation into your life whatever that means for you. So I really see something kind of really good uh, coming in for you here. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups again, and the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Wands says, don't give up. Again, I, I kind of feel like you are giving something one last shot, one last try. And what I'm getting is that it's gonna totally be worth it. So, you know, I really see you, you know, if this is love, by the way, I really see this as something that you really like want to nurture. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like, maybe past relationships, you ended up having a hard time like wanting to be committed to the person or whatever. I'm not saying this in like a, I'm not criticizing you or anything. I'm just saying like, maybe you would find it hard at times to like want to put the effort in or maybe you would fall out of love with people or whatever, right? And I feel like this is, whatever's coming in for you is something that you will like really want to commit to forever. <laughs> it's almost like you can't help yourself with this person that could be coming in. And that's kind of what I get intuitively. Again, you have the four cups. I feel you've been disappointed with the results that you've been getting. You know, probably kissing a lot of toads here, cancer. So, you know, uh, having a lot of people come into your life that just aren't right if this is love. I also feel that your situation in general just has, you know, it's like maybe you kind of always just have enough to get by or always have enough to support yourself. And, you know, the 10 of pentacles is wanting to live a, a better life, wanting to live a much more supported life, wanting to live something that's much more abundant and successful. And that's really what I feel like you want here. You have the Ace of Swords, which again, could be some sort of truth coming out. I do feel like there could be some sort of truth uh, that's being revealed to you. It's almost like you already know the truth though. You have this angelic help card at the end. I'm gonna read it in a minute. I can't read it from this distance, but <laughs> you know, I, I have a feeling that maybe it says something about receiving messages or something like that. But I also feel like if you had a person and you're not sure, but you maybe you think they left you for another person. I think that could be true. Maybe you think that um, you know a person just wasn't right, and you could be getting that truth as well. The Ace of Swords is a victory, though, and you know I feel that you are getting a victory by taking control of your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune, which again seems to be the most important thing here. I feel if you could you know double down on the, uh, the like there are. Let me say this as well: there are a million things you can do with the Wheel of Fortune. You can educate yourself, so education is part of the Wheel of Fortune. Digging into secrets and mysteries is a part of the Wheel of Fortune. So we're not talking about like secrets. We're talking about if you don't know something, go you know go and learn about it. Uh, you can uh, work on your vibration as well. You can raise your vibration. But I think that for you, the best thing you can do is gonna be to double down on the good stuff and to get rid of the bad stuff as well. With the Nine of Wands, you have the Six of Cups. Yeah, I would be guarded against a past person right here. You know, uh, so you have the, this to the devil. You could have a past person who is toxic. Um, so I would be careful of that. It, I will say though, that the devil is coming up in the area of the good stuff. And you know, so this could say that if you have a past person who had some bad behavior that they could be healing. I am never, I never suggest someone goes back to their past. So, you know, I'm like one of the only readers on here that says do not go back to your past, right? <laughs> and um, you know, so again, I would never suggest that. But you know, again, if you're, if you're wondering if a person has healed or whatever, this is kind of saying they have. And with the four of cups, you have the 10 of cups. 10 of cups is fortune after difficulty, love it. You know, th this right here, I love when we have readings that have the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups together. Uh, to me, that is like double fortune after difficulty. So it basically says that good things could be happening for you after a difficult period of time. The 10 of cups really suggests that it's a period where you are kind of like overcoming something and we have the devil there. So again, you could just be getting into a connection with a person who is not the devil, who has never been toxic. And that's what this looks like to me. With the uh, Ace of Pentacles, you have, or sorry, the Ace of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus coming in for you. And the King of Pentacles is someone who wants something permanent. And so I love the King of Pentacles 
in love because to me it represents someone who wants to stick around for a long time, someone who really wants to be in your life. And I do feel there could be a very solid connection coming in for you with the King of Pentacles. I also feel that, um, you know, outside of love, by the way, uh, this reading just looks amazing for your finances. Like if you're doing anything new or if you're trying to manifest better finances or trying to grow your finances, uh, I really see a lot of like success and abundance coming in for you here um, with these cards. So love it. Uh, at the end for the good stuff, you have this next level card. Here you go. It says taking your finances or business to the next level. Uh, it says uncharted career demands con uh, uncharted career demands constant evaluation and adjustment to succeed. So definitely taking something to the next level. You have this angelic help. It says your angels are blessing you with new opportunities. Your angels are assisting you. Uh, no, you will be provided for. Yes, I also feel like you maybe have received messages that are coming true. And, you know, this could be, uh, you know, your higher self helping you or your angels helping you, whatever you believe in. And I feel that this could be creating blessings in your life. So I love it. Uh, you have the devil, the uh, magician and the queen of wands. The devil can represent toxic energy or, you know, a toxic person. And so the devil is about removing yourself from a toxic situation. Uh, but the devil is coming up in the good stuff. So I feel that you could be getting out of toxic situations. I also feel that if there's anything that's been over your head is what I'm getting. Kind of weird message. But, you know, if there's something that's been hanging over your head, like... Um, you know, a due date or maybe you're like waiting on a court decision or like, you know, anything like that that's heavy where you just are like waiting for something to happen. I kind of feel this is saying this is the end of that situation. So you could be getting news or clarity on a situation that you've been waiting for or, you know, something that where you've been waiting for, you know, clarity or something's been hanging over your head. That's a feeling I have with the devil. Um, but again, it's coming up in the good stuff. This is a good thing. You have the magician. So again, definitely manifesting something. I always pull the card that he's pointing to, which we're going to say it's this one right here. Yeah, um, it's like you're breaking free from an illusion. You have this dragonfly. If you've ever looked through a dragonfly's wings, it's kind of like looking through a stained glass window. So dragonflies can represent illusions or kind of like seeing some sort of illusion or looking through an illusion. And so you could be getting the truth in something that has been an illusion for you for a long time. Again, this is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So, you know, this is going to be good no matter what. Uh, I also feel like you are kind of, um, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, dragonflies can like hover in place and maybe you feel like you've been hovering in place for a long time, but then they can move very rapidly as well. They can kind of stop and then shoot off in a direction. And I kind of feel that for you with the dragonfly. I've never said that before with this card. It's almost like you've been hovering in place and now um, like maybe there hasn't been a lot of movement or things have been stagnant and now things are moving very, very quickly. Also kind of weird as well. I see a lot of shuffling, by the way like going on in my head, if you work in groups of people or with groups of people or, you know, if you work, um, you know, if you're like a boss or something like that, uh, you know, there could be a lot of people coming in and out of a situation is kind of like what I see here. This is not a bad thing, by the way. This It's like a restructuring or reshuffling is going on. I don't know. That might make sense to some of you. You have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands about being bold, being assertive, uh, really going for what you want. Queen of Wands also says you're very attractive at this time, Cancer. So, you know, if you're looking for love, I would definitely get out there. Uh, Queen of Wands also about being bold, being assertive, like really going for something you want, really making something happen. So the Queen of Wands has this sunflower here and the sunflower points towards the sun. So the sunflower is all about moving uh, towards fun, joy, happiness, you know, all those other things. And um, that's what I would do there with the uh, Queen of Wands is move towards the sun. Uh, let's see what is going on for you here, Cancer. Uh, with the devil, you have the page of pentacles. Um, definitely could be new love and definitely could be an earth sign. So if you want love, um, that looks like a new person. Uh, even if you already have love, which again, if you have love, this looks really good. If you're already in a relationship, um, you know, this could just represent like good news coming in for you, which again, like I said, if you have something hanging over your head or you've been waiting for approval on something or whatever, uh, that looks like good news to me. Uh, with the magician, you have the nine of swords. Again, that's showing up in the good stuff. This would tell me right here that you're ending a negative cycle. And again, with the dragonfly card was kind of clarifying this. This could say that you're seeing through an illusion, which is kind of, which, you know, that could be the thing that is removing you from a negative cycle. Uh, with the queen of wands, you have the seven of swords. Seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing. But again, it's coming up in the good stuff. Seven of swords comes up every single reading that I do nowadays. And the seven of swords is a card of tactics. So, you know, I believe that um, the people who are going to be very successful over like the next 10 years specifically, but probably longer because th like if you learn this energy, you will probably do it for the rest of your life. You will probably be tactical for the rest of your life. But um, 
you know, it's about instead of like doing things the normal way, <laughs> it says, is there a better way to do anything that you want to do? And I, I know that's a very broad statement, but obviously I don't know what all of you do. So I have no freaking clue. But um, what I would say is, you know, if you're trying to accomplish something, can you accomplish it in a better way or a more efficient way? I think right now we're in a time of efficiency and removing friction. I talk, I've been talking about this for years, literally. So anything you can do to remove friction from your life is going to be a good idea. You have this dog card that says pleasure with a close friend. Yeah, I, I was, I'm like seeing something about friends or like shuffling around of friends or something like that. Very weird. It, it's like not even a bad thing either. I don't, I don't think this is bad or good. I just think that there could be some sort of, you know, I, I, I keep wanting to use the word shuffling going on. You have this door card, it says opportunities are waiting for you. Yeah, I think there are big opportunities waiting for you here, Cancer. I also feel like these opportunities co could be coming from other people as well. So, you know, I, I definitely, we are in a time of teamwork. Anything you can do to work on a team would be a good idea. You have this family sorrow card. I don't know, this comes up for every, literally everyone. <laughs> uh, so I don't know, there's like weird family stuff going on, I'm, I think for everyone. You have this wind chimes card. It says peace and harmony. I think this is what you should focus on is peace and harmony. You have this apple card. It says temptation will test you. I don't really, th I think that the temptations that are coming in for everyone as a collective right now are like, you know, hey, um, this past thing is gonna be easier. It's like, that is the devil that is on all of our shoulders. Is like, we're in a time of evolution, but like what's the devil on our shoulder is saying like, oh, wouldn't it be easier if you just did things the way they've always been done and just stay stuck in the past, right? And I'm not even talking about love. I'm talking about everything. So we just need to um, kind of evolve, try new things. That's it. So uh, thank you for being here. It looks really good and definitely enjoy your week.